Hey YouTube, what's going on? Welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to talk about how to install GApps on Motion emulator. By default, Motion does not come with any of the Google apps. It does not have Gmail, it does not have Google Chrome, no YouTube, and there is no Google Play um, to install those. So it is really not convenient and it's really odd that Motion does not include those by default. But they don't and because of that we have to jump through this hoops uh, luckily this is not too difficult so uh, let's get started so the first thing we're going to do is go to opengapps.org and on that website and this uh, link is going to be in the description so make sure to check it out um, by default getting motion is running on x86 processor and pretty sure it's going to be the 32-bit version. It's not going to be the 64-bit unless you specifically know that your device is 64-bit, then just select the 32-bit version by default. And then depending on your Android version that you guys are running, you will have to select uh, your version here. I'm running version 5.0.0 and I can see that in here. Um, well, that's actually the name I gave it, but uh, when you create your device, you'll see the version. I'm not, not sure if you can see it in settings. I guess you can't. All right, anyway. So when you're creating your uh, Getting Motion Emulator, you'll see the version that you're picking. Uh, so depending on the version, just select uh, the option here and then select the variant. And for me, I'm just going to roll with the stock variant. And I'm going to download it by clicking this download button. Uh, once it finishes downloading, you're going to get a zip like this. And what you're going to do is you're going to click on it and drag it over to the emulator. And let me close this. And then a file transfer is going to start. And this may take a while to finish, uh, probably about 10 minutes. So I'm just going to cut this part out. So see you guys on the other side. All right, once the file transfer is done, we're gonna see a window like this where Motion will ask you, do you wanna flash this uh, zip archive because it seems to be flashable. So we're gonna say, yes, we wanna flash it and it's gonna take some time to flash this thing. This should be faster uh, than actually transferring the files. All right, once the flash has been completed, it's going to tell you uh, the result, and mine was successful. So it says the zip has been flashed successfully. Please restart the virtual device. So before we can actually use our apps, because if you look at it, we still don't have any. So before we can use them, we need to uh, restart the device. And the way we're going to do that, we're just going to close it and open our Guinea Motion. And then just gonna double click on the device and start it and see what happens. Now, once the device boots up, uh, we should see our G apps on there. All right, once it finishes booting up, you can just press got it. And what do we see? we see a bunch of G apps, right? We see a Play Store that we can now use. Okay, we do need to sign into it uh, to be able to use it, but I'm not gonna do that. Uh, so we have our maps, we have Google, Gmail, photos, YouTube, everything, right? So, um, so that's it for the video, guys. Make sure to like, subscribe if you haven't, and share. Take care.